Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is a quick video where we continue to look at the Settings app in the Privacy Settings, and this time with your Activity History. Go into your Settings by the Quick Actions on the bottom right in All Settings, or you could go to the Start menu in the Settings app. In here, you'll go to Privacy. On the left side, you will see something called activity history. What's that all about? Well, here's the thing. When you are logged into a Microsoft account, what happens is that the activity history of your device is synced online. What's the activity history? It's pretty much everything you do, the browsing that you do, your apps that you are running, the websites that you will go to, and everything that is different services for within Windows, that activity is not only stored on your device, it's also sent to Microsoft. And you see here there are check marks for that. You can remove these check marks if you don't want any of that activity to be online. You might think, why would my activity history be sent to Microsoft? What's the use for that? Well, that's because if you have multiple PCs, one of the advantage of this is that every PC will react in the same way, will suggest the same things, and will know where you left off on another machine. So it's part of how everything is syncing together between apps, between Windows machines. That does mean that some, some activity is linked to an ID online. It is linked to an account, which is your account. So, and remember that once it's in the cloud, it's pretty much encrypted. So no one, it's a big blob of data that no one can see. The activity history, of course, is something that could be sensitive for you. Maybe you don't want anything to be sent out. So what you could do is remove the check marks store my activity history on the device, send my activity history to Microsoft. If you remove the check marks, this is going to stop. But that also means that with different machines and even your own machine, a lot of the features that you use, a lot of the things that you do, your computer will not remember that you did that before. So it won't have any suggestions for you already. It won't have or try to help you in because it knows what you did and it wants to help you do it faster by completing some tasks for you, that will stop happening. So it'll change somewhat some of the way that the computer will behave, behave with you. The account that is um, on the device that has the activity is uh, there. So this is my account where the activity is actually being sent to. And finally, you have the ability to clear that data and to clear all of the activity. To do that, you have to go to manage your Microsoft account activity data. What does that do? It brings you online to a page that is this page. Here, you have everything about you, the information you have about you, the privacy uh, about you, and all of the stuff that happens to be sent out. Here, you have all the information, my activity, you can download your data, you can see Cortana's, uh, you can uh, see your ad settings. Everything in here is available. And you can clear that. So you see, here you can say view and clear browsing history, view and clear search history, view and clear location activity, view and clear voice activity, media activity. Uh, anything that is apps and services that was logged and sent to Microsoft, product and service performance data, Cortana data, and any other type of connection like LinkedIn and so on. All of that is in there. You have all of that data and most of it can be cleared and removed from the servers if you wish to by going to your privacy page on the Microsoft website. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.